we're going to take one more look at the amazing world of wellness at Dr. Murad's El Segundo Spa headquarters. He's told us all about the incredible products that he's worked hard to create for the public worldwide. But aren't you curious about how he got here? I know I am. So tell me, now how did you even get involved with this? I mean, when people think skincare and upper echelon, your name kind of comes to the top. Well, <clears throat> you know, I, I can't give you a good answer because I don't have a good one. Mm -hmm. um, I can go through my history. I was a pharmacist yeah. before I went to medical school. Um, I um, became a, a, a general physician. I was drafted in the army. Uh, Uncle Sam was really nice to me. He sent me to Vietnam for, for a year. I saw all those... <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to say. All that action. All the action. Yeah. And actually had wanted to be a surgeon before I went into the military. But after that, I really wanted to be other than a surgeon because I saw enough surgery. Um, went into dermatology and always my bent was how can I help people in a way that isn't invasive. Um, as a dermatologist, most people are into Botox and fillers. Mm -hmm. I've never done Botox. I've never done that to inject anybody with Botox. Um, always interested in finding ways that made a difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. And just one thing led to another. I don't, there was no yeah. like aha moment all of a right. sudden. Um, multiple aha moments. Uh, a, as, a, as an early dermatologist, people would come to me because they had problems that weren't solved with what was available. So being a pharmacist, I would compound things and recommend, you know, write a prescription for the pharmacist to compound. Mm -hmm. And they would be satisfied because it made a difference. And that led to ultimately developing products. And one thing led to another. Here I am. Is with there, you, talking to I you. know, this is Lucky great. Me. Lucky him. Lucky us. The doctor's not only spent his whole life dedicated to the wellness and beauty of his patients, but he also has a philanthropic side. He and his organization work to give back in a variety of ways. I do understand that you also give back, and that in a way is a... Uh, yeah, I, <clears throat> we donate. Um, the, the thing I love the most is children. I am fortunate I have to be of my own. And I have four days. How lucky can I be? But I donate to things that have children. For over 30 years, I donate one day a month um, to a place called Vista Del Mar where I actually see children. I don't charge them, mm. and I give them free product. Um, I donate to the Big Sisters of LA. I actually started a foundation many years ago there. Um, we have an uh, after-school program that we opened up for mothers who are working and don't have time, so after school they can bring their mothers to a center in, uh, in Redondo Beach. Wow. Um, there are a lot of other things, but generally my focus is on getting people to start their life early on and be healthy. You are a very busy man, doctor. I am. I'm <laughs> writing a book. Um, it's called, this, uh, well, I'm not sure what it'll be called because the publisher's going to probably change okay. it, but we're thinking of calling it the science of cellular water or the water principle or something like okay. that. Okay. That describes what we've just talking about and that should come out uh, maybe May of next year. Wow so you just keep it going right? I like that. What do you like uh, what do you look forward to? Coming here talking to you <laughs> <laughs> and that's really that's again what it's, it's, about. it's about that I just love doing what I do. Dr. Murad I think that you're my hero. That's it for Murad week folks. Have a glass of water get some rest and tune in next week for another stamp on the passport with a new episode on C. Jane Run.